hello guys and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a little like over a few days um doing a little bit of a juice cleanse after my heckers the weekend um yeah because my body definitely hates me right now so yeah keep watching for more hey guys so it is couple of days after I've done, done that mukbang and my body definitely hated me after that and then last night we had a ball for netball it was like a function and I was drinking so my body definitely definitely hates me today so my cousin's birthday is term four so we had like cake and shit so yes definitely overindulged this weekend so just come home I just went to fruit shack and I'm going to be juicing trying to cleanse all this shit out of my body so I'll just show you what I got got half a stalk thingy of celery I hate celery FYI I got a massive bunch of kale big bunch of spinach I think that's the only thing in that bag, so it can probably just stay there. I've got two cucumbers, three zucchinis, little bananas. I like to let them sit and grow really, like, kind of gross. And then I chop them up and I freeze them for smoothies. I've got a bit of ginger. And I've got some green apples, a ton of lemons, so... That's all of my food. So I usually, not all the stuff here, but like the kale, celery, cucumber, apple, spinach, ginger and lemon. I usually just mix all that up and make a green smoothie. So I'm going to try and do that, just smoothies for a day. Because I usually can't go past a day because I get tempted and just want to actually eat something. So I'm going to try and do that for a whole day. Try and detox everything out. And then for the next few days, like a few days after that, I might just have one in the morning and at night or at work or whatever. So yeah, let's hope it works. And I'll keep you updated and I'll show you how I do it. Good morning guys, so it's the next morning, as you can tell. I've just washed my vegetables. Now I'm just gonna start chopping them up and pop them in the blender and get them ready to go. juiced but I don't think that you should juice it because you're just getting rid of all the like the thick shit so like all the skin and although I'm not putting lemon skin is because that is like asshole um because you're just losing all that goodness so I'd rather just keep it in leave it a bit chunky and just take it down you know so as you can see not going to fit that much in so if I put this I'll put that in with some water blend that up a bit 
and then take it back out. <clears throat> oh, put some more of the other stuff in. in there. Here goes the taste test. Oh, I'm glad I didn't put any more ginger in that. You can definitely taste that. That's drinkable for the day. <laughs> Cheers. So there is my lunch and my snack for today. Woohoo! Hey guys, um, so it's obviously in the afternoon. I've just come back from work, come home from work, and that was pretty hard. I mean, you know, people have worse in life, but that was pretty hard. So I had a video I took, sorry, of these filled and that's all I've had today. And I've, thank God this saved me. I forgot that I left it at work, but uh, this big 2.2 liter bottle of, um, a bottle and I filled that up and pretty much been drinking that all day. I've been to the toilet like three or four times and yeah it was pretty just even like i work in childcare so they were having fruit and uh, just a mung on a bit of apple would have been bloody nice or, or like they had english muffins for afternoon tea with like butter and it just smelled so good and then this was this hit home all right so I was leaving work and we went and I went outside and all I could smell was KFC. It's like 200 meters up the road. And it was in that moment that I realized this is shit. So shit. But I'm doing my body a favor. So and for me to have that much self-control that I didn't need anything today at work like anything that I shouldn't have well not I didn't eat anything at all I was just drinking that juice actually so I didn't eat anything and to oh, I was tempted but I didn't eat it so I'm pretty proud of myself so I'm just gonna go make another one now because I don't know if you can hear but my tummy is rumbling like crazy so I'm gonna go do that and then I don't know if I'll need another one before bed but we'll just see how we go so might film that for you because this morning's was a bit of a struggle it was a struggle struggle cd right here struggling
Ja, ich. So it is chicken pesto pasta, but without the pasta. So it's got zucchini noodles, chicken, pesto, a little bit of cheese on top, and a bit of garlic in there. And it is so delicious. Mm -mm. Keen to smash that down. Good morning. So it's the next morning, and I'm so excited to eat. So I've got two eggs. And some bacon, and I'm just gonna have that. So, pop them in here. So, while I'm waiting for those to cook up a little bit, I'm going to work out the macros for the vegan. Yeah, we'll rid of those over. Oh. Chuck the bacon on. Yeah. So while that bacon is still cooking, I'm just going to show you what my plan is for today. So I had the green smoothies yesterday, crossed out treats and wrote snacks. So I'm having bacon and eggs. So it's got uh, 1.1 grams of carbs, 24.6 of fat and 25.5 of protein. So that one's pretty high in protein because the eggs bump it up quite a bit, but it's yummy. And then for our uh, stuff this up so on my first break at work I'll have the beef and bacon bacon and beef slice so I I'll show you actually I won't but I made that a little while ago and it's yeah keto recipe and I just freeze them into little slices so that's got two grams of carbs per serve 30 grams of fat and 25 of protein and then for lunch, I'll be having the chicken pesto pasta that I made last night. So that had 1.05 grams of carbs, 12.95 of fats, and 7.05 of protein. So, and then I'll probably have this chicken pesto again for dinner because I can't really be bothered doing anything else. And yeah, that might, that'll probably be all my meals for today. If I end up eating anything else, I will let you all know. So this is the pesto pasta, but you saw that last night, so you don't have to see that again. And this is the fruit that actually looks really disgusting like that. But that's the... I might... Hang on, I might have to open it. No, look, you can just see it from there. It's actually really delicious, but just looks like... This is my breakfast. Kind of fried the shit out of that because I was too busy talking to you guys. Whoops. Forgot to tell you. So I usually just season my bacon and eggs with this pink Himalayan salt. It's not 
Thank you, see. There we go. This one is just from Coles. As you can see, I'm nearly out. I love this stuff. So I just pass it all over. Being very generous. And I've got my water. And I'm probably just going to scroll all of the socials, you know, before I have to go to work. See ya! So this is the beef and bacon slice thingy. Doesn't look appealing, but it's fucking delicious. Hey guys, so I've been really slack on the whole video thing after Monday. So I'll just explain what I had and all that shit. Um, probably last time I spoke to you, I had my bacon and eggs. And then I had my beef and bacon slice. And then I had chicken pesto for dinner and for lunch as well. I fucked all that up. And then I had one of those energy drinks that you saw in my very first video. And then the last two days, or today, is Thursday. But I had bacon and eggs. I'm having bacon and eggs now. Got parmy and veg ready to go. Had the same thing for dinner. And then for snack at work, I just got 100 grams of frozen fruit and berries. Oh my god. They are delicious. And that would be so, like, even better in summer. Like, look at it. 100 grams of it. I put it in there last night, so it's kind of a bit yuck now, but so good. Like, yum! And yeah, got my little palmy in here. Can't really see it, but it's gonna be delicious. Um, just cooking my bacon and eggs now. Yes, I need a hand with the eggs. That's why these little things are here. They're great. They're just from Kmart, I think. And this needs to be flipped. Oh, yuck. So fatty. But on the keto, we're all about fatty. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to put this fucking vlog up because I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't even know if it's a vlog. It just turned into one. I don't really know. But I will see you when I see you next. See ya. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm just going to wrap this up here. I don't know what I'm going to call it. I don't even know if I'm going to put it up on YouTube. But... Yeah, I hope you enjoyed my few little day what I eat. Um, so yeah, those green smoothies kind of helped me, kind of in my head anyway. And then I'm really strict back on my keto, which I already feel really good about. Only after two days of actually eating food. So, winning! Um, yeah, that's about all I've got. If you like this video, give it a little like and a big thumbs up.